Told you stop hugging me. No, he no, was I a... like to hug. Anyway. <laughs> no, he was just he was just really cool. All right, so I am recording, by the way. Are you really? Uh, <laughs> I've been recording for the past two you seconds. You asshole. <laughs> Wonderful. Anyway. Okay. I found the doctor. Cute. Because apparently I am five years old. My eyes look lazy. Do I have a lazy eye? No. Is that me or do I need glasses? Am I straight looking? Yeah, they look straight to me. <laughs> Sorry, do not, do not put that on. Oh god, I can't I will. look fat when I do that. Right. Hey Internet, back again. Uh, we went to the Comic Con today. And uh, oh my god, it was actually like a lot of fun. I was really kind of nervous uh, at first that we weren't even really going to get to, you know, do all the stuff that that we wanted to do the 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 one thing that we wanted to do which was meet robert england and but but we did uh i'm very happy to report that uh that that happened we we got to uh we got to meet him and as a, a really weird wild bonus uh we met a few other celebrities that we didn't even realize were going to be there and then just kind of like we were walking on the floor and we saw the panel of uh you know the row of tables uh with celebrities and it's just like Hey, look, it's, it, look, it's that guy, it's that guy, and it was just, like, really kind of exciting. Um, so, uh, we were able to get some autographs with, uh, people, pictures, stuff like that. So, the first one, uh... My name's Matt. You didn't introduce me, it's fine. Go ahead. The first one. No, it's, this is my friend Matt, who has been in videos before. <gasps> me again! Oh my goodness! The... All right, sorry. Because I have to fucking introduce you every I, goddamn I, time. It, it would be nice. It would. Be. <laughs> okay, fine. I hey, everybody. They don't know who I am. It's like, Matt from Pack South and other related yes. videos. Other and, related videos. And, other related video, Matt. And the uh, and the unfinished Hellblade series. Hey, we uh, we don't do that. We, well, we would have to start the game over. I'm okay with starting the game over because now now I actually know how to fight them. And you can delete all the old ones. Or leave I did. Them. I deleted them. Uh, they they no longer exist. Back on topic. I'm probably going to edit that Let's part out. All right. So the first guy we got to meet was uh, Mike Quinn. Mike Quinn, you may or may not know, played a bunch of roles in, uh, like, small roles in stuff like Star Wars, in Return of the Jedi. Wait, I'm going to butcher this name, but it's it's like Niles Nub or something. Nian Nub? Yeah, Nian Nub. Nub. Okay, something so Nub. Mike Quinn played Nian Nub in Return of the Jedi. Uh, he also did a bunch of work, puppeteering mostly, in things like Labyrinth and uh, Dark Crystal, movies that the two of us grew up watching and love intensely. And we just we got to talking about that. And uh, he's done a lot of other stuff since then. Uh, he did the puppeteering work for Yoda in uh, uh, The Last Jedi. He did uh, he reprised his role of Nian Nub uh, in uh, The Force Awakens. And there's another one coming, obviously, so he might be in that one as well. So he said he said that he is in that one. He is in that one. Yes. But it was just, it was so awesome to talk to him, and he was just, like, such the coolest dude, and he was so happy to talk to us about his career and other stuff. I mean, we got to talking about, you know, what it was like to work with Jim Henson, which was really cool to hear about. And we got pictures, and I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple of them right here. So I just wanted to say this is Mike Quinn, Quinn, and this is the amazing list of stuff that he has done, it's and a lot lies. of this is my childhood, so you I just want to say... can't prove that. It's all lies. <laughs> you can't prove it. It's not real. No, I just think this guy is amazing, so I just wanted to... <laughs> like, you, sir. Thank you. You're Appreciate awesome. it. <laughs> uh, in Dark Crystal, he was the slave master. Yeah, but I just remember he was a slave master, like, beating the podlings. Like, right, go! okay. Go! And he was my favorite goblin from Labyrinth. The one with the really big eyes and the little mouth. I'm going to throw in a picture right here. Whenever I think of the goblins from that movie, that one stands out to me. Throw in a picture of that slave master when you get to Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to... The slave master is right yeah, here. here. Ah, okay. And then the next guy we talked to was Doug Walker, actually. Uh, Doug Walker, who is, of course, the nostalgia critic. Uh, and, uh, that guy with the glasses. That guy with the glasses. And uh, he was the coolest 
guy. He was so approachable and so friendly. Uh, oh, and also uh, we took a little bit of video, which I'm going to slide in right about here. Uh, I'm here with Doug Walker, a.k.a. the Nostalgia Critic. Uh, I've been watching this guy for years, and it's so awesome to meet this guy. So awesome to meet you! <laughs> it's really cool, man. Thank you so much. Absolutely! Good seeing you. And he was just, like, really cool, and uh, he hugged me twice. <laughs> and he was, like, he was just, like, a really happy guy. Very friendly, very approachable. It was really cool to talk to him. And then we also talked to Michael Nathanson played Sam Stein in uh, the Netflix Punisher series, and he was also a really cool dude to talk to. Um, of course, we had to like talk in code, because this guy hasn't seen the show yet. So, yeah, I know. Yeah. Huh. I know, I know. Yeah, dejected sigh. You better give a dejected sigh. <laughs> it was kind of funny, because like, we, we, eventually we were just kind of like, oh yeah, and the, the part that happened with the guy and the thing, oh wow, I know. <laughs> It was a great show, and it was really cool to talk to him. And then we walked down further. There were a few other people that, like the guy, uh, one of the guys from Megadeth was there, and I was like, oh, I, we should go talk to him, but then we just didn't. <laughs> and then, oh, and Lou Ferrigno was there, and I was like, wow, Lou Ferrigno, we should go talk to him. And then we did. And then we just completely forgot to go talk to Lou Ferrigno, and it yeah. was like, whoops. And uh, cool to, like it was cool to be in his vicinity. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I saw Lou Ferrigno, and that's cool. I saw Lou Ferrigno. That's all that counts. He is taller than me. I'm six two, and he is. He was obviously taller than me. For those of you who don't know, Lou Ferrigno played the Incredible Hulk in the television series from the late '70s, early '80s. And then we, of course, went to talk to Robert England, and uh, I brought the Polaroid, and I showed it to him, and I told him the story. And he loved it. He loved seeing it. And we talked a little bit about his career since then and all the stuff that he's done and, like, the, the stuff that he has really enjoyed doing. Uh, and actually, he told me to uh, look for this. It's called The Last Showing. And he said that that is his favorite non-Freddy Krueger role. It's on streaming, he said. So, yeah, uh, definitely. I, mean, I want to see it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he told us a little bit about the plot, and it sounds, it sounds like it's a fun time. And then we just kind of like went around and looked at some of the stuff that they had. There were some really cool cosplayers there. There were people who make their own Mandalorian armor and and, and puppets, actually, <laughs> which I thought was really kind of cool. And Mandalorian puppets. Mandalorian puppets. That, that is true, though. No, it is true. Uh, they had a Mandalorian puppet there. And it was just like, that's a weird combination, but I approve. Cause... Oh, and I got a Totoro! I got a Totoro! He's so big and fluffy. Getting, getting awkward there. You guys gotta get a room. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's too too far. No. Anyway, so I bought this because I thought it was really cool. And uh, Robert England signed it for me. For Daniel, sleep kills. Robert England, Freddy, isn't that awesome? Now you should show the back because the back is pretty. Yeah, I didn't even see that this was on the back until we took it. Out. I didn't even see that. Of course, now you're gonna. Obviously, never show the other side. <laughs> well, I mean, of course not. I don't care. Um, and then, so, but that was that was separate from the photo op, which we had to do uh, extra later on. And uh, so, I got this. And uh, as you can see, it's in the same pose as uh, as in the Polaroid that I'm holding. Isn't that awesome? I'm I so happy. I Great time. I'm so thrilled to have gone. I'm really glad that we did this. I actually got a signed, I mean, I don't know if the audience cares, but a signed uh, picture of him uh, from his character as Willie from uh, V, the TV series. The TV, I need to which, watch that again. Which, you know, he was, he was actually it's the only part years. of the series that I remember as a kid. Yeah, I'm sure it's a good show. I just, it's been a while since I've seen it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Taz Totoro yeah. sneaks in and steals the spotlight and eventually overtakes both of our faces. Anyway... <laughs> I also was talking to him about, um, I guess he was in another role that I remember him from. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's a B-movie, Jack Brooks, Monster Owner. And he was saying that he really liked that, too, because it was like an homage to, you know, older horror movies. And, mm. uh, and, and, Such a cool yeah. dude. I love meeting celebrities that are just, like, really into their fan base. That he brought it up that there are so many roles that he's done that he barely remembers doing because they're just small little bit roles in his prolific career. But people will come to him and be like... I saw you in this, and I loved you in it, etc., etc. A while back when I was younger, um, 
my, one of my first jobs, I was working in a sporting goods store for seasonal help. And uh, actually, one of the customers was William Sadler. It was really cool because, you know, I didn't realize it at first. I've seen William Sadler in a lot of things. He's been in a lot of movies that I've seen when I was a kid. Um, you know, he's like in Tales from the Crypt. He's uh, oh my god, that's right, Demon Knight, right? He's in Demon Knight. He's actually in the show as well. Oh, he's okay, also, okay. Re- more recently, I wasn't a kid when this existed, but uh, yeah, when I was younger, he's like the president in Iron Man Three. Uh, he was oh, in yeah. Shawshank Redemption. He was in Green Mile. He was in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he played the Grim Reaper in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. The second oh my one. God, that's right. The sequel. Yeah, yeah. He he's done a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. He, he was in the movie Trespass. If you don't know that, I think that's a good movie. That's a good don't know movie. that one. Okay. Bill Paxton and him versus Ice T and <laughs> Ice, Ice Cube and Ice T in the same film. Wow. But, okay. Um, you know, now, I, now I really need to do this. I remember him from a lot of stuff. So right, specifically cool. his Star Trek run because when I was like younger, my mom and right. uh, I watched Star Trek. So. Deep Space Nine. Yeah, yeah, Deep Space Nine. So his role on that show, his character's name is Sloan. Right. Whatever. Anyway, so I, I like. Out of all the other stuff on Deep Space Nine, I remember his character so well. He's a great actor. He's a good character actor. So when I see him, I'm like, because he came to my register, I'm like, are you, are, are you an actor? And and he was like, why yes I am. And and he's and I'm like, you're from, you're from. And he's like, well perhaps you remember me from my roles in such great movies as The Green Mile and Shawshank Redemption. And I'm like. Star Trek D Space Nine! And he was like... <laughs> so, that was like the best, you know, I, 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 I saw him just be like, I hate you, why? But, see, the same thing is, if he understood, if he understood why, like, see, for me, he did such a great acting job that I remembered his character that well. It's kind of like, um, oh, I can't remember his name now. He played Leon on that show. Um, also another great actor. Um, played the voice of the question. Um, reanimator. You're not helping me. No, no, I... Jeffrey Combs. Jeffrey Combs. Jeffrey Combs is another one of those actors that he's he's like such, got a, such a, a an electric personality that you watch yeah. him and he's just he takes up like he takes control of what you're watching because he's so you know animated yeah. and amazing and he, you know I think he's like such a good character actor. I really loved William Sadler and I felt bad that I made him feel bad <laughs> about acting that he apparently didn't like it. But some actors they do like one role and that's what they're known for and they can grow to resent that. Uh, which I think you actually said that Lou Ferrigno does not like. I heard that, that he, he does it because it's what pays the bills, but he's right. not. He's jaded because I, I think he wanted something bigger and grander, and he, he felt he that, thought that it was his gonna career be was going to take off. off point, yeah, you know, jumping off point. But it, it never went anywhere. But yeah, we just we had a really good time, and uh, we saw really cool cosplays, and just talked to cool people, and so I'm just really happy that we went. And the food wasn't actually that bad. The food was decent. <laughs> it's the Totoro Show featuring Daniel and Matt. Hey guys, I'm getting your face. Okay. Um, nom, 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 nom. I'm right. just kidding. He doesn't do that. He doesn't eat faces. And I gotta make this guy watch Punisher. I yeah. promised Michael Nathanson that I would tie this motherfucker to a chair and make him watch the goddamn show. And I keep my promises. So if you're out there, Michael Nathanson, Make this motherfucker watch. Also, somebody get me help because he's gonna tie me to a chair. You just heard him say that he's gonna tie me to a chair. Anyway. Yeah, great, 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 great. Okay. I, I have things to worry about now. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's it. That's my update. I think just at the end here, I'll go ahead and slide in some of the pictures of cosplayers that I took as a little you should. little slideshow. So right. here you go. Over Here they come. Bye.